So you think you have an ACL injury? What are the signs that you need to look out for? And what are the things that you can do instantly to get some relief? Today I'm going to be talking to a knee surgeon and a physiotherapist to find out exactly that. Someone fears that they might have torn their ACL. What are the main symptoms that we should be looking out for if we think that this might be the case? I often ask about the knee giving way, both in a straight line and also in, in twisting and turning activities, and also the knee not going fully straight, that's called locking. Those two things are indicative of something significant going on in the knee, and that's when it should be checked out. And if someone thinks that they have torn their ACL, what would their immediate action be straight after? So the knee has taken a big hit. It's very swollen and very painful. Things you should be doing, don't walk it off, try and rest it, don't put too much pressure on it, uh, ice it if you can, elevate it and take some painkillers and anti-inflammatories. The next step is really to see an experienced professional who can assess you and, and treat you appropriately. And long term, what should someone be doing if they've got an ACL tear? If you're concerned about uh, knee instability or an ACL tear, go and see your GP, go and see a physiotherapist or go and see an orthopedic surgeon. They will examine you, organise the necessary investigations and talk to you about the treatment that you need. Someone thinks they've injured their ACL, they're panicking a little bit. What do you think are the first steps that they need to take? There's an acronym that we use that's called POLICE. So that stands for PROTECT, OPTIMAL LOAD, ICE, COMPRESSION AND ELEVATION. With ACL injuries, there's often a lot of swelling, a lot of pain. So what we're trying to do is control those markers. So we're trying to reduce the swelling, reduce the pain, which is where the ice and the the elevation comes in. Protect is you want to scale back. So if you play sport or exercise, you're probably not going to want to be playing it in the, in the acute phase, definitely not. So you want to scale back on what you're doing, only do things that are comfortable to do. So that's, that's why it's optimal load rather than just rest. So you want to do things and exercises that are comfortable to do. You don't want to be sat with your foot up for six weeks watching that's the world go shame. by. Yeah. So you can be walking on it, but you might need to reduce the okay. way that you're putting through the leg. But yeah, there's, there's different acronyms, but police works well. So I don't need to be calling the cops. It's not that serious. Not that serious. Yet. No, ambulance maybe, but not, <laughs> not, not just the police. Nine, 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 but yeah. not the police, we're good. So ACL injuries are obviously quite scary. How important is it to catch them early on or as early as possible? Ideally, the, the, the earlier you detect and diagnose any injury, the better because it helps us create a more structured treatment plan moving forwards. Plus, the longer you leave it, the increased risk of further injury are. If you don't know you've got an ACL injury, you just think you've you just pulled a muscle and you continue to play sport, yeah. there's a risk that you're going to make the ACL injury worse or injure something else, another structure. So it's really important you get that early assessment to help diagnose the condition and get a structured plan in place. So for our viewers that may be watching, a word of advice for managing a suspected ACL injury? Try and rest. Don't, don't be a hero and, and, and walk on it and use it. Rest it, take some painkillers, uh, and really seek urgent um, or early attention. Go and see an experienced professional who will be able to assess your knee and, and, and obtain the necessary investigations. Now we know all the signs and the symptoms and how to get instant relief. For more information on ACLs, click here.